Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to explore on how to connect GoDaddy domain to WordPress. So, let's begin. Make sure you are logged into your WordPress account because we will be needing your credentials when we integrate both accounts in GoDaddy and WordPress. And if you haven't done so, this is the perfect time for you to create an account. And all you're going to do is continue with Google account if you have. And you can continue signing in using your Apple or you can sign in using your business or work email address. Or you can even log in via the app. And once you have done that, now I need you to go to your GoDaddy account and in the upper right corner on where you can see your profile icon. Click on that and search for all products and services. And once you click on that, you will be directed here in this specific page wherein it depends on the version that you have. But mine has domains, websites, plus marketing. And some users have web hosting. And I have email and office and additional products. So the reason I said that because it depends on the subscription that you are using say if you're using in a free trial and a premium plan or a pro plan so that's why now from here click on domains basically from here as you can see i have four domains already running it's live and it's working now you need to choose the specific um domain that you wanted to connect to wordpress all right, say so in that case, you need to update the name servers. Look for the DNS management or DNS settings. Now, all you're going to do is from here, click on your name servers. And you need to change the name servers to the ones provided by your WordPress hosting provider. Now, this can usually be found in your hosting account or obtained from their support. Because uh, this step is very crucial to point your domain to the correct hosting service. And I just wanted to point out that the uh, DNS changes may take some time to propagate across the internet. And I believe it's about 24 to 48 hours during this period your website may not be accessible to everyone. And once DNS propagation is complete, you can visit your domain in a web browser to check if your WordPress site is live. Okay, that's one of the methods. Now, I also have an easier method which in you can simply do it in one click. Because GoDaddy and WordPress integration should not be as technical as it may seem. If you are not a tech savvy, you might want to need the help of N8N. Now, I'm using it for a lot of integrations to automate my workflow. Because as you can see, N8N lets you integrate GoDaddy with WordPress to build powerful workflows. And I believe this is one of the best um service there is. Now, for you to build your own GoDaddy and WordPress integration, the first thing we need to do is to add the first step. All you're going to do is choose a trigger for your workflow. Say, for example, an app event, a schedule, a webhook call, another workflow or manual trigger. In some cases, the HTTP request node might already serve as your starting point. And again, step two is adding and configure GoDaddy using the HTTP request node and WordPress nodes. And step three is connect GoDaddy in WordPress and of course you need to run flow just click the execute workflow button and you're ready to go just sit back and relax and do let n8 do the work for you and if you're interested more about n8 and i suggest you go here at their website because i'm using it right now and it saves me a lot of time and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next video